everyone, it's Ashley here. Today I have a video for parents and toddlers. Today I'm going to be telling you how to make your own posting container at home. So first thing I did is I went through my recycling and I found an old breadcrumbs container. I like it because it has a flexible plastic lid so it's easy for me to make holes for the object that I'll be posting and it's nice and deep. That's what you'll need first. Second thing I did is I searched around my house for something I was going to post. So what I was going to put into the container. So what I found were these plastic colorful straws. And this is the object that I will be posting. Yeah. So what I'm going to do first is I have my container and I have a hot glue gun and this is hot. I heated it up and I'm going to make holes in the top of my container so that the object can be posted into it. I'm just gonna, like I said, I already heated this up and now I just use it to pierce a few holes into the top of my container. I'll show you in a bit. <laughs> and posting has a variety of benefits for young children. It teaches about object permanence, so the idea that even when an object is out of sight, it still exists. Another thing posting is really great for is fine motor. In order to get the object into the container, the children have to practice their pincer grip. Push it in. So I'll show you what my holes look like. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. My son River is joining to assist me. He'll be the um, person who gets to enjoy my posting container. So as you can see, I used the hot glue gun to just make these holes in the top. River, do you want to show them how it goes in? Look. Show them how it goes in. Push. Push. Yeah, so the container goes in. The straw goes into the container. And then another great thing about posting is once the objects are in, then the child has to use their hands again to open the container to retrieve the objects. This is also great for fine motor strength. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I don't really like the, the breadcrumb label on my posting container. So I pre-cut a piece of construction paper and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just add some glue and use it to, to cover the outside of the container. You can also allow your toddler, this is hot rubber, you can also allow your toddler to Decorate the outside of your posting container. That's really fun, too. But first, like I said, I'm going to just add some glue and cover up this label that we have here. And you can find really anything around your house to use, you know, as a posting oh, object. You could use clothespins, you could use chains, you could use um, wine corks, um, really anything. As long as you have an implement to be able to make the hole in the top of whatever container you're using. So I'm just going to take this. Now that I glued it, I'm going to cover up my container here. Like I said, later I might allow River to decorate this, you know, color on it a little bit. And then next, final, is setup. So how we set up works in the classroom, and how I'm going to set it up here at home is I found a tray. It could be any tray. I know a lot of Melissa and Doug toys come with those nice wooden containers. Those are great for trays as well. And then I'm going to put my posting can on the tray. Yeah, River's very excited. And then I just have a mason jar for the straws. You could use whatever you have available to you at home and just allow your toddler to enjoy over and over again. And there you go. Happy Tuesday. Say bye.